welcome back in this section we will learn about loops loops are a very important concept in any programming language they help you to automate repetitive tasks which are very common in real world applications let us say for example you want to email all your customers thanking them for the recent purchase they made on your website instead of sending a generic email to all your customers you want to add some personalization you want to address them by their name and you may want to probably tell a uh, thank them for the specific product they purchased on your website instead of composing 100 or 1000 different messages loops can come in very handy here you in your program just tell once how to personalize your email content and how to identify to whom that email needs to be sent and your loops take care of doing the same thing for all your customers in this section we will see some examples how to implement loops in python python provides two statements for implementing loops the first one is called the for loop and the next one is called the while loop let us take a look at how to implement the for loop first the for loop lets you to iterate over a sequence the sequence can be a list a tuple a set or a range of numbers let's learn more about the for loop with an example let us create a program for loop dot py let's give a command illustrate the working of a for loop as mentioned before the for loop iterates over every element in a sequence so we need some sequence to work with and that sequence can be a list a set or a tuple let us assume in this example that we got a list of four numbers 1 2 3 and 4 and the for loop has to iterate for every element in this list so how many elements do we have in this list there are four so the for loop will execute four times the for loop also provides a means for us to access the individual element for which that iteration is being performed and the syntax of the for variable looks like this you start with the for keyword then it is followed by a variable name that you provide so elem is a variable name that i am providing it can be anything of your choice and what this variable will do is it will hold the value of the element for which that iteration is being performed and we say this element is in so you are using the in keyword and then you give the sequence the sequence is 1 2 3 and 4 then it needs to be followed by a colon so this is the syntax for the for statement let me repeat so you start with the for keyword and then you provide the variable name which you want to hold the value of the element for which the iteration is being performed and then you it is followed by a in keyword saying that that element is going to take values in this sequence that is over here and then it is followed by a colon so what do we do for every element in this sequence we want to perform certain actions right so that actions that set of actions will be part of this for block and to define the for block we need to indent the statements like this statement 1 statement 2 and so on as long as you have the indentation on it means those statements are a part of the for block 
and those will be executed for every iteration. So let us print something. Let us print. This iteration has the value of ELEM as then we give the variable name ELEM. What we are doing here is for every iteration we are checking what the value of ELEM is. So what happens is for every iteration the ELEM takes the value of the element in this sequence one after the other. That is for the very first iteration this value 1 will be assigned to ELEM and in the second iteration ELEM will take the value of 2 and in the third iteration it will take the value of 3 and in the fourth iteration it will take the value of 4. So let us execute this program and check the results. Click on loop.py. As you can see, in the first iteration it has taken the value of 1 and in the next iteration it has taken the value of 2 and then 3 and then 4 and so on. So let us modify this program a little bit. And I am just making a simple change to these values. So I have made a small change in the program. I am um, changing the list from 1, 2, 3, 4 to 5, 6, 8 and 9. What I am trying to show here is that the ELEM takes the values of whatever um, elements that you have in the sequence. It is not taking the iteration number. Since in the example I just showed you, since you came across values like 1, 2, 3 and 4, I don't want you to think that it is the iteration count that it is um, the element that variable ELEM is getting assigned to. It's not the iteration value. It is the it is the value of the element in the sequence. So if I change this sequence to 5, 6, 8 and 9, if I save it and re-execute the program, I will get values as 5, 6, 8 and 9. Hope this is clear. Let us move on to the next example. 